Hello, this is the TradeSite U.S. Stocks and Futures Market Preview for Monday the 18th through Thursday, Friday the 22nd of June 2018. Hope you had a good trading week. We sure did here. Here's a look at the uh, ES Farm Month Futures contract. This is the daily chart of the broad market in futures form. Really didn't do anything for the whole week. Even with the Fed announcement, even with triple expiration, nothing. Nothing happened at all. We slipped a little bit, and that's about it. Actually, net for the week is really about even. We'll look at that when we see the intraday action. So let's go through the major daily charts, then we'll look at the interweek action, and then we'll talk about what's coming out in the week ahead as we try to wrap up June in the second quarter here over the next two weeks. We'll talk about really what the next six weeks look like from a trading perspective. Here's the CL. Uh, this is the crude oil down $2.51 to 64.38. Gold finally makes a move down 26.31. Interesting as dollar, the dollar starts to break out here to new highs. For the forex traders the s p cash index loses 283 for options expiration that's triple expiration friday nasdaq 100 down 23.83 after gapping much lower the socks down a buck 08 that's nothing the biotech's down 565. remember you don't expect much from triple expiration except for volume that is meaningless and so here's the vix down 14 cents to 11.98 the trend 1.27 that's where it's been the last three days basically so the 10-day moving average there's 1.04 that's not a signal, but here it is. Look at NASDAQ volume, 3 billion shares. It's all just useless expiration volume as they convert the options to stocks. doesn't mean anything. Fast decline ratio on the NASDAQ is uh, 30, plus 30, basically flat. On the New York, negative 150, that's basically flat as well. Google loses 84 cents. I mean, that's a blip for the big tech stock at 1159 bucks. Apple uh, down a buck 96. Netflix down 89 cents. Amazon down 7.89. Tesla gains 45 cents. TLT up 11 cents. That's a blip as well. Goldman Sachs down a buck 40, a buck 73. Uh, all right, let's take a look at the intraweek action. So we'll split this to or switch this to 10 minute candles. You can see Friday or Monday through Friday. Um, look at this. We closed almost exactly where we had closed the prior Friday. So if we gap up a little Monday, flat for an hour and a half, then we push up over lunch, then flat the rest of the day. Tuesday, basically a flat opening, dipped and came back and dipped and came back and closed about even from the open and the prior day's close. Wednesday, it gapped up a little, eventually filled it. Remember, this is the Fed announcement, so we spiked down. Wave one came back up, wave two, then rolled over in the afternoon after the uh, meeting and closed at the lows for the session. Thursday, we gap up, wiggle around a bit and close about where we started. Notice, if you take most of after the little gap up Monday, Okay, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, even with the Fed announcement, is barely about 15 points of range. Not even that if you take out the one candle. So it really wasn't that much of a week. Pretty boring. Glad that we got the big day we did on Wednesday. And then on Friday, which is really unusual for triple expiration, we got some great action, get good futures um, gains. Uh, we had some great stock picks that worked. And uh, so end the week on a, on a good note. But other than that, it was kind of a trade-off week on Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Big, big day Wednesday, big day Friday. Uh, so you can see Friday we gapped down, actually pushed a little bit lower. It was starting to look like a sell-off week, and then broke out to come back and, and almost fill that gap. When we look at the NASDAQ side, you know, a little more positive for the week. Obviously, there's an upward bias here. Uh, Wednesday with the Fed uh, did close at the low, almost the lows of the day, but then Thursday was a bigger gap up. We were making new highs on Thursday. Friday's gap down doesn't even put you under the lows of Monday or Tuesday. And uh, although we didn't fill the gap, we closed about even. Notice that 13 cell signal that ends up being the high on Wednesday right ahead of the Fed announcement. All right, so in terms of uh, data that's coming out this week just in the U.S., we'll focus on that for the domestic roadmap. Uh, Monday, NAHB Housing Market Index. we got a couple of Fed members speaking Tuesday. Housing starts and building permits. Wednesday, current account an hour before the bell. Another Fed Chairman, Fed Chair Powell is actually speaking at 9.30 at the open. Existing home sales, 30 minutes in. Crude oil inventories, an hour in. On Thursday, we've got the OPEC meetings. We've got the Philly Fed and unemployment claims. That's the weekly initial and continuing claims, an hour before the bell. Housing price index at 9. CB leading index at 10. Natty gas at 10.30. We've got the bank stress test results at some point during the day. And then flash manufacturing services PMI Friday at 9.45, which none of this is really big data. Nothing huge is coming out this week. We've, we're past the Fed. And we've got unemployment out of the way, all that stuff. So uh, it's just a straightforward trading week for the most part. We have two of them in a row. Uh, this week is one, and then next week uh, you know, is, is literally Friday is the 29th. That's the last day of June. It's the last day of the quarter. So you'll get a lot of the statement printing, what we call window dressing, for that Thursday and Friday, that Friday, June 29th, I expect to be a complete bust from a trading perspective.
But then again, this Friday was really good, and I, we didn't expect much out of a triple expiration either. <clears throat> the week after that is 4th of July, and unfortunately, 4th of July itself lands on a Wednesday. So the market is closed Wednesday, which basically means all the big players are going to be gone for the whole week. It'll probably be one of the lightest weeks of the year, that and Christmas, as, they, as it goes. Uh, and then uh, and then we got some open space, but it's summer through July and August, and we'll see what we get. Charts as usual brought to you by eSignal. If you've not yet taken a trial of our services, feel free to do so. We will help you out for a couple of weeks. Have a great trading uh, week.